unless you've been living under a rock at the bottom of the ocean on a different planet and are deaf, you will have heard that there is a new series of Doctor Who coming out on the 23rd of August, with Peter Capaldi as the 12th or 13th Doctor. I don't really know anymore. Newest writer Stephen Moffat has fucked with the canon quite a lot. Now, I, like most living organisms, think Doctor Who is great. It first appeared on the telly box in 1963 with William Hartnell as the first Doctor. As the years passed, the Doctor changed his face several times. Some of these are fondly remembered and some we would rather forget. Although there doesn't seem to be a unanimous opinion for each Doctor, it seems very much to be a personal opinion. For instance, in my opinion, of the first seven Doctors, I like two and four, Patrick Troughton and Tom Baker, respectively whereas I'm not so keen on three and six, John Pertwee and Colin Baker. However, after the first seven iterations of The Doctor, the show went off the air in 1989, with a brief return in 1996 after a new Doctor played by Paul McGann. After nine years of slowly being forgotten, the show returned in 2005. I specifically remembered that the hope was that this return wasn't shit. This was the first series that I had ever watched. This is why I think Doctor Who is quite special. My parents have great nostalgic feelings towards the older series, and since I was a ten-year-old at, this, at the time, I was the perfect age to enjoy the return of the show, and have enjoyed all of the following series. So this is my brief wish list for the new series of Doctor Who, because even though I don't want to admit it, the standard has slipped. Number one, please don't sacrifice the quality of individual episodes to tell a series-by-series series story. What I mean by this is that with Matt Smith as the Doctor, There were unanswered questions arising in his first series that finally got a payoff in the series three years later. When a story has been drawn out that long, you tend to stop caring about the smaller points. Number two, don't rush the endings. Older Who had a big problem with its story length. The vast majority of the stories were four parts. I vividly recall the last John Pertwee story was a ten-parter. A five-hour story. That's mental. If you attempt to watch the whole thing, you'll have to watch it in a room with all sharp objects removed. Whereas in more current Who, a 45-minute long episode has been known to have about 40 minutes of setup, with a 5-minute conclusion. This just makes it seem arbitrary. Put more effort into your endings, Moffat. You were the writer of the Tenant episode Blink, probably the best episode ever. And number three. The monsters in the aforementioned Blink were the Weeping Angels. They were fantastic, so obviously they had to be used again in an admittedly great two-parter a few series on. But then they were used again in a quite frankly disappointing episode. Another more obvious example would be the Daleks. Enough said, quite frankly. You know, for an extinct species, they are pretty fucking ubiquitous. At least they're no longer dressing them up like fruit pastels. I don't mind them, but maybe let's try some new monsters? So that's it. Thanks for listening. I'll be doing a small review for each episode of the new series, but please like and subscribe to keep up with them. Thank you.